super nature world. It's a world of incredible nature. This is one stripy skink. Out of focus. Um, this one was found in a very cold area, possibly crushed by something. Um, if it has been injured, with it's sort of hard to tell. The head scales don't quite look right. in a very cold warehouse that's so just warming up to my body temperature. It does still seem to move. But these guys are normally very agile. See them on a fence, try and take your camera out, they're gone. Um, this one's medium sized, I guess. This is the elegant snake-eyed skink. Give it a look at its eye. It's actually got, um, I can't see it too well. It's actually got a clear scale over its, over its eyes. So it's a bit like a snake, a snake. Yeah, snakes have clear scales over their eyes, but lizards have legs. At least this one does. It does look, I don't know, sort of look at that and you go, have you been squished or are you just really hungry? Problem is if it's really hungry, that means it's probably really thirsty and I don't have any bugs. So the best I can do is Keep you overnight. Let's see if you get any better. Oh, I've got some water. This water is obviously quite important if you're a self-contained lizard. Um, but if you're ever stuck under some useless old technology, not typewriter apparently at a warehouse. monument to man's stupidity perhaps and we just keep destroying everything take 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 so the real question is ethically are you suffering and do you want me to end your suffering because I can and I will but there's no way for me to communicate that with a lizard we barely communicate with ourselves seen these guys on my windowsill drinking uh, from droplets I've put there and of course I never have my camera on hand when that sort of thing happens that would be just too cool hopefully you recover a bit overnight not outside in the really cold yeah that's it there you go You're looking around, smelling. Uh-uh. It's the end of the edge of the hand. Is it a very empty belly or is that a belly that's been squished? There was some damage to the 
What's it? Scales on the back. Sort of looked like they were getting pinned onto something and it damaged them. Looks like they're actually okay now, so that's good. Um, do worry about that one on your head, though, little guy. How's your head look? Keep breathing warmer. Of course, by warming up, it means you'll have a higher metabolism, which will either kill you quicker if you haven't eaten for a while. I don't know, do you guys use your tails to store fat? They're such slimline lizards. Tail's a bit wibbly wobbly at the end there. Elegant snake-eyed skink. Very dainty looking. And this camera does not focus well. Unfortunately, if you've got a scale over your eye, I can't tell if you're awake or trying to sleep. So as long as you keep breathing, it's okay. nervous system continues. That's good. Still functioning like lizard. Maybe come this way a little bit so we don't go off the chair. You see, that makes me think that a lizard is a little hungry. 
all been a little crushed. Or it's playing dead because it's got no other defenses. Come on, good buddy. Back into the warm hand. Are you okay? So lethargic. Still breathing, that's good. It's good to see that um, head tracking was working hmm. Still breathing, that's good. Tearing the little guy, what are we doing? See if I can find you some food.
You are very flat. That's probably not good. Some, something out of the fridge, anything with protein in it. Must be something in there, a little lizard elite. Especially a hungry lizard. You big goose. Back in the thing, there's a little roach. He's eating some fake ham. I don't know what you're doing. Warm up quite easily. I'll leave you in there, you go for a rose and gold. Quite the dilemma. Into the hand. Warm hand. Um, so the underside of the lizard doesn't look too good. You really should eat the food that's in there. Look, buddy, why? I mean, that, that roach, it is loving that piece of fake ham. I think it's soy based. Fake ham. So I try not to kill things these days unless I have to. And I need you to be able to forage for your own food, which means you need to eat. Spin around. Do the thing. <laughs> Stop playing, Dan. You're fine. <sighs> oh, so now you can. find the bug. I don't know what I can do for you. Please go eat the roach. Please. see that it's right there. Approach is going to town though. I'm gonna swap in a macro lens so a closer look.
wins the rematch. He's just having the time of his life with that, that ham. It's a pretty good ham. Wish you agreed. How are you doing, little buddy? Hmm? Peck at me. What are you doing? Hmm? Staying in a nice little warm cave. Electric blanket plus human heat equals victory. Live roach or a live ant. Should come to think of it, I don't know where the where the live ant went. Hmm. Hopefully, it finds its way back to whatever it was doing. Let's keep napping for now. 
wonder how lizards stay warm overnight. Probably in groups. I know they lay eggs communally. Yeah, maybe not these guys. Oh, maybe. I'd have to look it up. Elegant, snake-eyed skink, egg-laying. But I'm not going to because I'm watching a little lizard. It's strong enough to get food tomorrow. We're expecting a sunny day at least. And adjust the wall to put you on. Someone moving around. What are you doing? You're looking a lot better. Oh, there's no food inside. Just go nap. Nap till morning. Smelling around with your tongue. As long as you don't do anything silly, I guess you can stay there. Don't like how docile you are, though. If a magpie finds you, you're going to get eaten. Hopefully the lizards on the fence will accept you as one of their own. And then you can get some bugs. How's that sound? 
Start a new family? Hmm? the end of the, the hand. Bring it back around here. there if you want. It's a good spot. KB is still there if you want to go in though. But I guess you're happy to be not in the cave? Hmm. Good lizard. see the world from your perspective. The stories you would tell. seem to be exhibiting pretty... Oh, drop your head off. <laughs> oh, you don't care, okay. Yum, 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 yum. What are you doing?
You're attached in the worst possible way, little guy. There you go. Starting to work out you're in there. Why did you let go? Cold quick. Wow. Sorry, I couldn't put you with your friends tonight. Don't know how you'd find them. Let go. Still on? And is it secured? Do a bit more adventuring than before. But more than happy to play dead. You still won't eat the bug. <sighs> Apparently, I was reading into you, little guys, and you will follow ants and steal their food. Or you'll take them from ants that are transporting food. You won't eat the ants, you'll just steal their food. So lazy. I like it. Oh, you're in a weird spot again. Down the inside edge so I don't accidentally drop it off. really wish you had blinkable eyelids because I cannot tell, I cannot tell if you're trying to sleep. Put me back in the cave. Oh. You're a very skinny looking lizard. And you guys are pretty skinny normally, but you're really skinny. And your eyes get into weird... <sighs> weird angles. You go in. What kind of cave is that? so grippy. Oh, my tail's working, which is good. And that for balance when you're climbing the wall chasing bugs. Come on. 
Let's just pop down on the blue. Come on, under the blue. Under the blue. Or not. Well, the good news is, survive the night. Digestive system must still be working because there's a bit of poop. Magnificent. And I still can't get it to eat, but that's fine. I've got this little guy here who I found when I jumped in the shower. But I, he got stuck in a droplet of water and was about to go down the drain. I saved him, and uh, while I was trying to feed him to the lizard, uh, it took off. And then I caught it again, and now I've just left it in here because it's. Uh, I'll probably just let it go. I'm actually really surprised that the water did not snap any of its legs off, though. Uh, our other meal that we have in here is uh, the roachy. I'll pop him out tonight him back where I found him. He's eaten some of uh, my fake chicken burger. Um, but everyone survived the night, which is good. I'm gonna go pop him outside. And I've got just the spot. You might be able to see it. Let's have a look. Oh. Uh. 
a building there. Uh, let's see if we can almost see a lizard at three times zoom. This is where having a uh, better camera would have come in handy. A bit of optical zoom would have been nice. Oh yeah, there's one at the top. On the left, at the join of the, in the mortar area. Oh, there's two. There's one at the top left and just under the white thing. In this centre there. What sort of bugs they get up there? Oh, they're on the move. One's on the move. So that building's going to be warming up. Which will give the lizard a bit of hope. I don't know whether to put him on that building though or the building next to it. The building next to it gets good afternoon sun and lots of bugs from the hedge that's next to it. I've sort of got a hedge here, uh, which often has lizards in it, but uh, mainly, as far as I can tell anyway, um, I lose all my ledge lizards, which are the same model as this guy. Snake-eyed skink. Elegant snake-eyed skink. Um, so yeah, if I put him on the other building, there's chances are probably better. Oh, there's another one down there, down low. <laughs> it seems so much clearer with my eyes than this damn camera. But um, yeah. So we'll either pop him over there, or we'll, um, oh, he's moving about. Whoop. What you doing? Yeah, pretty functional. You look pretty functional. I do look skinny though. But uh, we'll put you out and hopefully you can catch lots of bugs in the warmth. Get some of that sun. Sensible lizard. You can't go out that way.
Thank you.